Here we are in the Alibre drying environment, and I can't help but recall the story of this couple that went to remodel their bathroom, and when they broke through a wall, they found this on the other side. Hi, we're the Shinsekis. We remodeled this bathroom summer 1995. If you're reading this, that means you're remodeling the bathroom again. What's wrong with the way that we did it? Well, if you're watching this video, that means you're changing your drawing template and what's wrong with the way that we did it. Nonetheless, let's talk about making custom drawing templates here in Alibre. We'll start off by right clicking, activate sketch on sheet. And then I like to hover my mouse over a line and say explode symbol. And when I do, it imports these uh, properties, right? Like date is the drawn date and drawing number and all the things that you'd fill out that get autonomously filled in when you start a drawing. You also see that these endpoints have orange um, on them so that I can click and drag and start changing lines as I please. So I can even delete specific line sections just like that. Then I can also re-add any lines that I would like to do. You'll notice I have my regular drawing constraints as I go to add these. All right, let's say I've got this whole area for a logo and maybe a confidentiality statement. So for that, I can add a label and I can make some confidentiality statement. I can move my label and I can add in certain lines. By using the uh, label feature, then we know that this is gonna show up on our future template. I also may want to add in a logo so I can deactivate my sketch and go to the sheets and views and insert an image. And I'll go find a logo. And once I found the file that I want, I'll import it here. You'll notice my logo is very large. That's okay, because I can move this around just as I would any other drawing view. I can also right click and scale this as I would any other drawing view. Maybe a one to 20 scale. I'll have to go even smaller. even smaller. So I'm going to go with 1 to 55. So we've got our logo, we've got our confidentiality statement, we've changed the template a little bit. Uh, let's say that this is what we wanted. How do we get this as a template? Well, it's quite easy. We'll go to File and Save As, and then I'll go select a folder that I made full of my own custom drawing templates. Sure, you can stick this with the other drawing templates in the Libre system folder, but I would suggest not, right? In, in version changes or anything else, right? Maybe these will be affected. So I would always recommend have your own folder of your own custom drawings where you know where they are, you have control over it, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna name this and save. So let's see if it worked. Well, I'll close out of this drawing. We'll open up a drawing and then we'll browse to wherever we saved it. And I'll select that and we'll open our drawing. And there we have our logo and our confidentiality statement, which isn't very confidential. And uh, we have our basically our drawing template exactly as we wanted. But what if we really want to redo our drawing template? Well, there is another way. So back here in Libre, I'll open up a drawing template, but this time I'll open up a blank sheet and create an empty drawing. So from here, this is our blank sheet. Of course, we specify what sheet size we want and it generates it. So I'll create a 2D sketch and I can, from the beginning, create my own border and start creating my own title block fields 
if I really want to do it um, custom. Of course, I meant for that to be a line instead of a rectangle. I even have the ability to dimension this, right? So I can make that 4.5. So whether or not I do this with a completely blank drawing or I'm trying to modify a template, I always have the ability to also use fields and labels. So let me add a field and I'll make the name of my field drawing title and the prompt I'll make the same and I'll make my default value title and we'll apply. I guess I'll close this and move my drawing title anywhere that I wish. I always can change my uh, position and size values here. All right, so I can go to font. And since titles are kind of bigger text usually, right, we can... And then I'll add a label, something that sticks around on my template. I'll just say title and apply that and close. So let's show how this works here. We'll say file, save as, and I'm saving this template. I'll call it template from blank or something like that. And so when I go to start a new drawing now, and I go to my template, and I browse for my template, and then I go to open my template, You'll notice now I have drawing title, right? Because I added that as a field. And I can make this something like nothing really, because I've made nothing really in this drawing. As I open my drawing, you can tell that my title is nothing really. So that is, I think, a great way to make custom drawing templates. Y you have control over not only what your title block looks like, but you can add your custom fields in to be filled out when you create the drawing. So that should give you absolute control over what your drawing is. And I sure hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.